Hello, everybody. Ah! Can you stop it? <laughs> Every time that bird comes up, you have to make that damn noise. <laughs> Hey, everybody, welcome back to the World Congress Center, where we are currently getting through the Dream League Season 7 Grand Finals. We're about to hop into game number four. That's right, we have made our way out of the traditional 3-0 stomps of Dream League, and we are going to be moving into championship games now, gentlemen. Liquid have managed to do it. We're back at the panel, of course, with Slacks, Cap, and Merlini. It will be Liquid this time pulling out a bit of the cheesiness as they get their Huskar lineup and just kind of steamroll right through. Plan it on on that one there, Slacks. You were calling for it at the start of the game, but tell my man, just get the freaking like it. That's all he needs. That's all he needs to win. A little bit of that, a little bit of desperation with the Huskar combo. That combo reminds me of my trips to Vegas. A lot of pro false promises and a lot of burning sensations, but overall, works out and they've managed <laughs> to move on. Yeah. You know, I think I, you make it your whole entire mission when you come onto panel just to break your other panel members. That is Just to try and break the, the host, you know? It's like co-host, host, and Slacks is just here. It's like, I'm just going to break you at some point, Dakota. I do the intro, and now I wait for the cringe. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so accurate. you got to be excited, though. No one wants another 3-0 stop. So Nobody. Liquid are able to keep it alive, but do you think this is the starting point for Liquid? Do you think, not that they weren't trying before, but now they're maybe going more all in with it? Absolutely. I mean, it is literally desperation time. You don't get a Huskar Oracle combo coming out of nowhere like that. I mean, it's it's shameful, but it's something that keeps you in the game. Shameful. <laughs> are, we, are we breaking one tradition and completing another one? Didn't you say that it's tradition for Dream League to have like some really stompy games? Yes. Yes. This is a, a, a what was you saying, Ben? There's no game in the oh, yeah. this season. That there's there's that prediction in the compendium in the and for each of the majors like shortest game length. And ever since the shrines have been implemented, it hasn't been uh, a sub twenty minute game. This is mm. the first, first really? one that I've seen in a really long time. Yeah. At least at a Valve event. Sure. In most tournaments. Nope. We did have uh, some unique sub twenty minute games, I believe uh, VP GG down at 11 minutes and 30 <laughs> seconds in Dream League this season. But yeah, I have to agree with you. Long games, a lot of teamwork, a lot of positioning, very important. And uh, now we're finally seeing some uh, some special special drafts getting people through too. Yeah, we saw what we were talking about on, on the panel, the fact that like the Animage Resolution was trying to do everything he could as the Animage. Like he was hitting tier three by like 17 minutes or something, trying to do as best he could to split push, but his, the, his pushing power just couldn't really match what um, Team Liquid was able to bring with their Lycan and their Visage. So they were just able to kind of like dominate these team fights and then just bully through all these objectives. And there was no amount of split pushing that AM could possibly do to stop it. Mm -hmm. Draft win. Draft win. Draft win. I think I think the draft could go the other way. Uh, it's just like they, they lost the early game so much. I think they, they maybe fought into the Huskar a little bit too much in, in certain situations. Like there was a lot of mid engagements, um, which was fine in game number one and game number two. But in this game three against the Huskar Oracle combination, the Visage as well, um, I don't think you can fight into that. You had to you give you give your lineup a lot more time. Sounds like we have our MVP vote ready oh. to go. Let's see what you at home decided was the best player ever. Hey, Miracle. This one, yeah, might be a bit yeah. more warranted. Everyone loves to vote for the man himself, Miracle. 59% for his Huskar showing. But uh, Has Miracle ever had less than 20%? <laughs> no, for, for MVP, sure not. <laughs> no matter what? No, he has like his posse that already just auto vote him up to at least a minimum 35. This time I will do it. Guys, don't vote Miracle this time. I want to see him at the zero, even if he's really great. All right, let's just rig the vote. Is do you that think cool? uh, there should have been a bit more love dispersed amongst the others? I mean, that is like a collaborative team effort, as Dota is. Kuro gets say, more for the draft. Kuro for the ah, draft. Ah, yeah. Being able to have the nice synergy between the Lycan, the Visage, and the, the Huskar. And then when you're in a, you put your opponents in a position where it's like, well, we're going to ban the AA, and now it's like Dazzle Oracle, we're going to get what we want. And that was pretty much it, the draft of them just getting what they want. But now they know that they're willing to go to any foul depths to win this next game. Is uh, I, I felt like uh, Planet Audit was a little kind to them in their bans on that one, you know? They didn't go for anything too crazy. They didn't try to get